How's it going everybody and happy new year. This is my official unofficial review of Pop OS 21.10. It recently dropped and I recently upgraded and I've had a good amount of time to get used to it and use it. Pop OS is my daily desktop Linux driver and I really, really like it. There's some really good features in here. So this is gonna be kind of a short and sweet video around my thoughts, the newest, biggest features, and why you should probably be using Pop OS in the future. So without further ado, let's dive in. If you wanna support the work that I'm doing and this kind of content on YouTube, then go ahead and give me a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Sort of the way that this new Pop OS version feels like to me is almost like it's Mac OS brought into Linux. One of the biggest new features is this application library. I'm hitting super and A to get my Mac OS like application library and then I can search for, oh, I don't know, Discord and then boom, there's a bunch of apps and things that it searches for to bring up Discord. The dock down here is also something new that they brought into Pop OS and this feels very Mac like. I can show the application window from here. I can look at all the workspaces that I have and launch the finder from here as well. There's a bunch of other little UI changes that they brought into this version of Pop OS as well. And in my opinion, really makes for the best Linux desktop environment for new people. People, especially coming from Mac OS, will see this as a very, very familiar environment. And people coming from Windows, I think will have a pretty easy and intuitive time figuring this out with a lot of the default features. But I personally don't enable the dock. That's just a personal preference of mine. I like to use the tiling window manager that comes with GNOME and Pop OS by default. Another thing that I just love to see is they brought Raspberry Pi 4 into the fold. You can now deploy Pop OS onto Raspberry Pi using this image from the official repository. As far as hardware support, they've brought the kernel version up to 5.15.5, and they've also bumped the NVIDIA driver support. You have to remember that Pop OS, their parent company, System76, is also a hardware manufacturer. So not only are they building the operating system, but also the hardware. So the integration of hardware and the software is really, really good. I'm on an AMD system using an AMD GPU, so thank God I don't have to deal with the NVIDIA drivers. But with this newest version of Pop OS, you should have the latest and greatest for the support of your system and your hardware. They've also bumped the version of GNOME that is being used. Love it, it's great, love using it. And then there's a bunch of other little features around upgrading your system, package management, and some of the little nitty gritty details. All that to say, I think again that this is the best desktop Linux environment that newcomers to Linux could be using. It's so, so easy to install and upgrade and is honestly ridiculous how easy it is to get this on your desktop and start using it as a daily desktop driver. So all that to say, I love it. Five out of five stars. Thanks everybody for watching this video. Quick short one, but if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Peace everyone.